guys, it's Proud Cat Lover, and today we're going to be harvesting some potatoes. Okay, so I have Yukon Golds. This one here is Red Pontiac, and this one here is Yukon Gold. I don't know if the Yukons are ready yet, but this plant's starting to die. So, I'm going to harvest some potatoes. And last year it was good harvest. We have a 20... Let's see, what was this? I think it was a 25 gallon planting sack, I believe. But yeah, I can't plant in the ground because one, our soil is really rocky and I don't think that's very good for potatoes. And two, we have a business next door that rinses chemicals into our yard. So it's not safe for us to eat. So this is a lot better because it's a fabric. And they're in the pot and I can just dig them up really easy. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to dig us up some potatoes. Okay guys, so right now the only thing holding my camera is my strawberry plant. So I'm going to see if I can get the plant to hold it for me. And I'll try to video some within the pot. It looks like I've got some ants in here, which is lovely. But uh, I've yanked off the whole plant and I've got my burlap bag here. So we're going to dig in here and see if I can find any potatoes. Let me grab a pot real quick to pick some of this extra dirt in. Okay, so I got my pot. I'm gonna start by pulling out the stalks. Oh, <laughs> there's a little baby potato. Look at that little tiny baby potato. Looks like they were still producing. This is the red Pontiac that I'm pulling out here. Which I'm not gonna keep those. Okay. Hopefully there'll be, oh, here's one that's not too bad a size. That's a little new potato. Hopefully they'll be bigger, because the plant is getting to where it's starting to die. Get off my bag, you ants. Okay. I think the ants made a nest in here, which is not good, because I hope that uh, they haven't been eating my potatoes. That's not good. They're just those little black harvester ants. Potatoes like to be really deep in there, so I have to do a lot of digging. Oh, I think I might just saw one. Yep, here's one. Look at that. Really nice red Pontiac potato. There's one. Oh, there's some more I just saw. Oh, here's one. Look at that one. That one's really nice. Okay. I'll give you guys a little bit better view. So as you can see here, like here's one right here. This one's a really nice big one. Oh, it's kind of got some splittage going on in there. Looks like it was trying to produce a plant itself with that. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, there's another one. They look like they're all really nice sized potatoes. I mean, there's not a ton. Oh, there's another one, a little new potato. What else? I thought I saw it one a while ago. Oh, there's one. Wow, look at that one. I think that's the biggest one. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's continue looking for some potatoes. There is a lot of ants in this pot. Oh, I see some more. Got some. Here's a really nice one. It's a really nice potato. Here's a new oh, we got at least three. Oh. We've got a couple new potatoes. 
And this potato was actually still attached to that potato. Red Pontiac potatoes make really good mashed potatoes and they're a red potato. And then the other ones I grew that are Yukon Golds are supposed to be really good for mashing too. Here's another one. Oh, here's another good one. Wow, look at this buddy. The size of my palm. That's a pretty big potato. Here's another good one. This one's got some eyes on it, but that's okay. They're still edible. Oh, I see some more. All right, here's another one. This one looks nice. Oh, here's some. It's always nice if you are harvesting potatoes to have a spare pot nearby because, like I said, this is a 26-gallon pot, and this big pot that I have up here, I'll show you in a second, is almost full of all the soil. Here's another really nice potato. Oh, here's another good one. Look at that sucker. Let's, let's see. Oh, we got another new potato. Oh, we've got some ants carrying eggs. Little tiny guy, I mean, compared to that guy. Here's another little one. Looks like that might be getting close to the end of those potatoes. Oh, there's one. He's just a little guy. Might still be a couple left. I think that's mainly all of them. Yeah, I think that's all of the potatoes. We'll do a count now and see how many potatoes we Alright guys, so I took the potatoes out and we have 23 potatoes, counting the little guys over here. Ranging all the way from as big as my hand to a little tiny potato. It's about the size of a pearl. So, the red Pontiac potato is a good harvest. I'm not going to harvest the Yukon Gold yet because they're not dead enough, I don't think. And if these ones are still that small... I think I could leave them in a little longer, but anyway guys, thanks for watching my video. I highly suggest trying out planting potatoes. They're really fun and simple. They're extremely easy for a beginner uh, vegetable plant. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. And hey guys, so we're gonna find out now. I've cleaned the potatoes so they're not dirty anymore with a paper towel, just wipe the dirt off so we can let them uh, dry out before we go and eat them. And so now I'm going to weigh them to see how many pounds of potatoes we've got. Let me see if I can get the whole bag on there. Okay guys, so it looks like it's pretty good. It says 5.93 pounds, so that's pretty good. And of course I took the weight off of this basket first because I found it and I was like, that will work good. So that's that's pretty good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the little bonus footage and have a